back to the two. You know, we've got friends all over the country, and we've got really good friends in Minnesota. Our local affiliate, KSTP TV, in St. Paul, Minneapolis, wanted to show off some of the great food that's happening in the land of 10,000 lakes. Reporter Emily Engberg gave us the full tour. Check it out. Hey, two crew, welcome to Minnesota. I'm Emily, and by day, I'm the Twin Cities Live field reporter. By night, I love going out and checking out restaurants in both Minneapolis and in St. Paul. And today, you're in luck because I'm going to give you a little tour and share three of my favorites. We're starting off at an old school St. Paul classic. This is the Nook. Cheeseburger, fried onion. Founded in 1938, this legendary burger joint offers over 30 different burgers. And some of them are stuffed with cheese and named after Minnesota legends, like twin slugger Joe Maurer. So you're a St. Paul native. Your entire career has been with the twins. What is it that you love so much about Minnesota? Because you even have a burger named after you. Come on now. That's a big deal. Yeah. I like to show off Minnesota and uh, some of my friends that I've met uh, from other places. And uh, this is one of the staples that, that I bring them to. You know, I love this place. It's, it's funny, you know, when, when you're younger, you want to go out and see the world. And, and, you know, my friends, it always seems like everybody comes back, you know, and, and wants to raise their families here, things like that. It's just a good place to live. Well, this has been so much fun. Cheers. Cheers. Next stop, the Butcher and the Boar in downtown Minneapolis. And this is where they celebrate Minnesota's German heritage with homemade sausages and also some really good barbecue. The thing you've got to get is this jumbo beef rib, smoked 12 hours, and it's finished over the wood-burning grill with a Tabasco molasses sauce. You've got to see this to believe it. Wow, these are monsters. How do you even go after this? Knife, fork, hands, mouth. Time to get dirty? Time to get dirty. Let's do it. A lot of our customers just pick them up like this. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. You know what? Go big or go home, right? That's right. Here we go. Mm. Never be afraid to get messy. That's pretty awesome. So what do you love about living and eating in Minnesota? Well, it's cold six months out of the year, so Minnesotans love to get together and eat giant portions of spicy, smoky meat. Uh, much better than ice fishing. I would agree with that, right? Selfie time. OK. You may not think of ice cream when you think of Minnesota, but here at Izzy's Ice Cream in the Miriam Park neighborhood of St. Paul, you get to choose from 150 flavors. And if you still can't decide, you get a little scoop on top, and they call it the Izzy Scoop. I love that their flavors celebrate Minnesota's Scandinavian roots, including the Swedish Garden Party. It has elderflower ice cream with raspberry swirl and crumbled ginger snap mixed in every bite. So good. And I love that your flavors reflect the community. The Twin Cities is one of the most exciting food scenes in the country, maybe in the world. And not only is it a great place to eat, it's an amazing place to live because you really appreciate the summer because you work hard to get through that winter time. <laughs> yeah, we're a hearty bunch, aren't we? We are, we have to be. It's proof that ice cream is good year round. Thank you so much, Jeff. This has been great. The secret ingredient in this ice cream is elderflower. It's pretty delicious. What do you think, guys? It is really with that raspberry. Really. Like, the, and the consistency is great. Exactly. It's amazingly really creamy, creamy and yeah. amazingly rich. I've never had anything rich. like it. It's delicious. Yeah. It's, oh, mine's you know all gone. <laughs> to the heartland, to, to the, the Midwest, heartland, baby. to yes. the Great Lakes, and to Killer Ice Cream. Up next, Ian Harding from Pretty Little Eyes joins us in the kitchen.